Hey everyone, welcome back to FilterGrade. Today we're going over how to add subtitles or captions in Premiere Pro. These can help in many ways. Obviously, they're helpful for people with hearing disabilities so that they can actually consume your content. They are also useful for social media videos where many users will watch videos without listening to any audio at all. They are also great for any video meant to be entertaining, as they can be spiced up with lots of animations. Premiere Pro offers a couple main ways to integrate subtitles. One method is great for entertainment and social media content, and the other is more official closed caption methodology. The first method is a bit brute force, but allows for the most customization. This involves literally making a new text layer and typing out your subtitles manually. This will take a little while, because you'll need to type every word, time it appropriately for the words being spoken, and determine how much of the text should be on screen at once. But on the bright side, you can completely customize it. Since it's a text title, you can make it as simple or as complex as you like, even with animations. This will by far be the easiest way to create subtitles if you intend to do any sort of customization through animations, strokes, shadows, or anything like that. Anyways, to do this, just select the text tool, click on your player, and start typing. Now go to the effects control panel, open up the text options, and you can adjust the font type, size, and more. Assuming you want to center your subtitles, you should click on center alignment to make your life easier down the road. If you're going to animate, it's important to use the correct tools. There are several ways to animate in the effects control panel, but we will want to use the tools that are under the text controls. To animate, click on the keyframe button at a specified time, then you can adjust the value. So for example, if we want the caption to pop in, we can create a keyframe at the start, then change the value to zero. We can then move forward a few frames and change the scale to 100. By changing the scale here, we will create a new keyframe automatically, and now we have a simple animation. For more in-depth animation tutorials, check out other videos on our channel that cover that more in-depth. For creating new subtitles, all you need to do is either copy and paste or hold ALT while dragging the existing title. Drag this new layer to the new location you need it at, change the text, and adjust the length. Any animations for popping in the text will stay, so long as you don't stretch it from the beginning of the layer, and rather stretch it from the end of the layer. This is where the center alignment comes in handy, as all of your new subtitles will be automatically centered. The other way to create subtitles is with the actual captions tool that's built into Premiere Pro. To use this, go to File, New, Captions, then select Open Captions. You'll see a new item in your project bin, so drag this on top of your timeline and stretch the duration to last as long as you need captions on screen for. Click on this layer to open up the captions panel. You can write your captions in the text box now. However, the captions tool lets you set specific timestamps for your subtitles, and you can't just copy your entire text into this one text box. You can move the black bar on the timeline or drag either end, just like any other clip on your timeline, to get the timing perfect. Or you can manually type in a start and end time in the caption tool. To add a new caption, just click the plus sign in the caption tool. There are many text settings available for these captions, including font style and size, and the opacity of the captions. You can change the position by adjusting the X and Y values. As you create new captions with this tool, any formatting changes you made will remain. When exporting the video, look under the caption settings. Captions by default are not part of the video. You can export it with the captions using burn captions into video, but you can also choose to export a version without captions, or by also exporting a sidecar file, which can be used on some website uploaders to add in captions to an online video, but not have them be burned into the video. This file will contain timestamps, but the website's formatting and textiles for the captions will be shown, instead of whatever formatting you chose. This second method is better for official subtitles that need to be compliant for hearing impairment, while the first method lends itself to more of an entertainment focus, and can make social media videos much easier to consume for the average watcher. Either way, the process will be a little tedious and can't be all done automatically. Thanks for watching this filter grade video, and like and subscribe for more Premiere Pro tips. Comment down below what you want to see us tackle next. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.